Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with Heavy Metal. We got about 15,000 reasons to smile today. A couple of them being, we got my 204 Ruger out here at the range. Another one being, we got my Shusher, my Bob Shusher can out here at the range today. So, check this out. You might not recognize what's in front of you, but believe it or not, this is my Ruger American Predator in 204 Ruger. This is an aluminum chassis system from Oryx, O-R-Y-X. It's on there somewhere. Oryx. It's got adjustable doodads back there. It takes AICS mags here. And free fruits the barrel. What else does it do? It's just all around cool. But, uh different ways to connect your your stuff to the fore, fore end up there it takes AR-15 grips the whole purpose of today first time I'm putting the suppressor on the 204 Ruger we got to make sure that she's dialed in I'm gonna dial this in dead on at 100 yards do some groups I didn't touch the scope when I swapped the stock so it should be pretty close I'm gonna double check all the torques before we fling anything out of it but yeah 204 Ruger got my new stock on here Putting my new Banish 30 Gold from Silencer Central on there. That's what my suppressor is. Multi-caliber suppressor. Ought to do just fine on this 204 Ruger. 204 Ruger is pretty loud if you never had one out. What's the speed on these things? 4,200 feet per second. Anything going 4,200 feet per second has got a big old loud crack on it. But the suppressor is uh, supposed to reduce the... The noise by 36 decibels uh, but let me slap this can on here and we're gonna see if, how close she is from dead on get her dialed in we can go chase some coyotes a lot of people say man you're crazy it's not coyotes it's coyotes well you didn't grow up where I did I suppose <laughs> lots of people out west say coyotes I don't know this sounds funny to me to me it's more country if you say coyotes but um, I guess I'm country. All that yapping. We're here to check this rig out. Let me get this uh, Shusher can on here and we'll be ready to fling them. Go back to 100. Should sound pretty, pretty nice. Uh, taking that crack away from that 4200 foot per second 204 Ruger. Might as well show you one while I'm sitting here. Here's what those 204 Rugers look like. These are 32 grain projectiles. So it's, it's uh, 204 caliber right it's a 204 Ruger but it's 32 grains going really fast so essentially it's kind of like a 22 LR with a lot better ballistics and going about four times as fast so pretty cool awesome coyote stopping round while I'm thinking about it my brain's going crazy today I have already filmed a blue light drop video of the 204 Ruger, you would be very impressed. Check it out. Let's fling some blue light cider in. That's what we're here for. All right, back here at 100 yards. No ear pro on. We got the can out here. And if I didn't say it already, we're flinging 32 grain V Maxes out of here. Shout out to Tools and Targets for helping me find these blue lights. Now, 16 zoomies on this scope here. I'm gonna slow down, see how I can do here. Y'all pay attention to what this sounds like. Ooh, that's quiet. That is definitely quiet and definitely hearing safe. Hopefully the audio on this camera's picking up how quiet that thing is. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a three shot group as it sits. Then I'll adjust and we'll do a new target. Pretty near the same hole. Do one more before I adjust the scope. Oh yeah, it's stacking them in there. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Man, I think some of that has to be this chassis. I remember this thing doing pretty good groups, but that's really good groups. Now, I need to adjust that scope for sure. Well, let's adjust this scope here. 
And then we'll do another three shot group. So I need to come down. How much down do we need to go? Down is that way. We gave it six clickies down. Probably only one or two left to right. And I gave it three clicks left. Let's do another three shot group. See where we're hitting. Pretty cool with these mags too. I think I can get 10 rounds in this baby now. Ruger American 204 Ruger. I showed this to Paul. He was like, man, what is that? And I said, it's a Ruger American. Pretty slick with this little stock on there, huh? All right, another three shot group here. Looks like we're still hitting low. Bring it up some. There we go. Now, we'll see where this one's hitting. Try to do a three shot group with this. Apparently I didn't adjust it enough first time. Right and left looks good though. Shade high, but I'm still gonna do just a three shot group here. And I might need to bring it down a little bit. Putting them in there. Putting them in there. You, if you've never tried a 204 Ruger or you hadn't even heard of it, man, check them out. In Tennessee, this is legal for a whitetail. All right, so we had two a little high and right and one bullseye. I'm going to go ahead and come down one. left one and then I'm gonna take another shot on that top target that we were on before and just see if we can kiss the bullseye these 204 Ruger's bow lots aren't exactly on the shelves everywhere actually they never are haven't seen one in years so if I kiss the bullseye or real close to it with this one we're gonna leave it there here we go And we're in that bullseye there, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. I think I was right. That was a really fun video. But let me show you the groups up close. So these circles I draw in this in the uh, middle of these plates, it's a penny, which is roughly three quarters of an inch. So just to give you some reference, I think my first group there was probably a 0.5 or 0.6 inch group. That's good any day of the week. I don't care what kind of boo lots you're flinging. That's a good group. Then I adjusted the scope and got this three shot group. That's probably right there, a 0 0.6, 0 0.7 inch group right there. Then I adjusted and then we got us a inside of the ring hit and left it there. But man, let me tell you, that's the first time I ever tried 204 Ruger with a Shusher can on there. And that is awesome. Um, if there's anything that's loud, 204 Ruger is loud, and that 30 cal can did absolutely perfect on the 204 Ruger. Like I said, 204 Ruger is a screamer, 4,200 feet per second, and that can did just fine. Putting this new stock on it, we're still getting good groups. Uh, I made sure I actually used a torque wrench when I put the bolts in on this baby to this chassis do my absolute best here but yeah she sighted in ready for those coyotes and my banished 30 gold suppressors and doing real good on it stay tuned for a whole lot more videos make sure you're subscribed we have stuff like this coming out every single day appreciate y'all watching big time tell all your friends we'll see you on the next one 204 ruger pretty rad Hoo -hoo -hoo.